What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a little while since I posted, about a month. I've been working a lot, it's the holiday season. Got a lot to pay for right now, so we've been working like six days a week right now. 10, 11, 12 hour days, so that's where I've been. But in this video, I'm gonna show you a little tip on how to find some fishing spots inside the urban jungle in Southern California. Most of the area that we live in is um, covered with city. Houses, warehousing, you know, all that stuff. But in the middle of the cities, there's also secret little fishing spots that you can find. So in this video, we're set up for carp fishing. <clears throat> I've done a couple of videos at the same creek. Um, this creek is pretty cool. It's got, um, it does have bass in it too. Um, so it's got bass, bluegill, uh, sunfish, carp, um... I've also caught bullhead catfish in there, brown bullheads, I believe they are. And it's a really small creek. You might not think that, you know, when you're driving over the bridge to, you see those little flood control areas, little creeks, you know, stuff like that. You might not think there's fish in there, but try them. Most of the time, a lot of the times, there is fish in them. I have fished at some that I've checked out where I have not caught any fish at yet. Um, perhaps in certain areas. But if you go upstream or downstream, there might be areas where it's deeper and more pockets and pools, and that's where the fish are going to be holding. So do a little bit of exploring and find some spots. First, what you're going to want to do is download Google Earth if you haven't already. Or you can even look on a uh, Maps app on like your smartphone. You're just going to kind of look around at certain areas, look for green areas, and then you're going to want to zoom in on those areas and see if there's actually water. Um, it because there a lot of times there could just be moisture. I've gone to places where I thought there was gonna be standing water, but I go there and it's just like there's reeds, but there's like pretty much no water. It's just like groundwater that the plants are getting their life from. So then pick a spot, drive to it. Okay, uh, I've driven to a million places blindly that I, I had no idea if they held any fish or anything like that. So it's worth it. Find spots that look kind of fishy. Go there, check them out. You might be surprised. You could find some awesome spots because I know you can because I have. That's just a little bit of information on how you could find these kind of spots. Um, if this video does okay and I get some positive reactions from it, I'll do a much more in-depth video and um, I'll actually show you. We'll look for a random spot on Google Earth. We'll do like a Google Earth challenge. We'll look for a random spot on Google Earth, a place I've never been. We'll go check it out and I'll map it and we'll go check it out together in the video. I'll show you the spot and everything. And I maybe, usually what I do is I'll find a certain area and I'll pick like three spots that I wanna go check out and then I go check them out. So if I get some positive reactions from this video and this video does okay, then um, then I'll make that video. So anyways, let's just get into the video. Uh, it's me and my son Evan and my son Tristan. And we went cart fishing, caught a little one, and then we caught a pretty decent one also, especially for that creek. And you know, once again, you can see in this creek, um, it's not big, right? But there's some deeper areas, like three, four, um, possibly some areas are like five feet deep, maybe. You never know what you can find when you go out and explore. Um, the point is just going out and doing it and um, But always be careful. You don't want to get arrested or you don't want to get any tickets or you don't want to get uh, Caught in a flood area when it's raining. Okay, so spots like this that we went to carp fishing I never go down there when it's raining um, Reason is because it's part of the flood control. So when it's raining that water is a lot higher and um, The area does flood um, if you could see in the video you can see like there's trash and debris and stuff like like way higher up um, than the water level. That's because when it rains, that's where the water's like rushing through there. Let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on. Get him, get him, get him. He's on, he's on. He's on, he's on. 
Trish has got it. It's a bluegill, it's a bluegill. Trish has got it. No, I think it's a carp. I don't know. It's a I'm guessing it's a carp. It's a little carp, I think. What is it? What is it? It's a bat. We know it's a carp. It's a little carpy. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Bro, you hooked that thing good. Look at that hook good. All right. <laughs> Tristan caught a fish. <laughs> So Tristan caught this kind of light colored carp right here. It's a little carp, just a little guy, but uh, it's one to start off the day. So, you want to talk about it? Yeah. No? You just want to let it go? <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get another one. Let's get it to mommy and next, daddy. Next one for me. Next fish is for Evan. I'll get the net ready. Can I scoop it? Let me, let me scoop it, buddy. Aww. I'll, I'll get it. Come over here with me, Tristan. Okay. Right there, right there, Dad. Get it. Right there. Yeah, hold on. I think it's snag. Oh, oh, get him over here. Get him over here. Don't, don't pull him too high. Don't pull him too high. Got him. Yeah, I don't have him. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, we got him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Yay. Yay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, I thought, oh, yeah, we did. No, he's in the mouth. Oh. Look, see? Perfectly hooked. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so we got this nice carp right here. Evan got it all on his own. <laughs> He wasn't accepting any help on that one. <laughs> <laughs> he got it out of the tree and everything. And we scooped him up. So here, Evan, here's your fish, buddy. Probably a nice, uh, I don't know, six pounder, maybe, around there. Oh, good. That would be a good fish to eat. <laughs> Not really. Some people eat carp. Now show the camera. Show the oh, camera. That thing's huge. I thought it was a red tail catfish, because look at its <laughs> red tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let him go. Okay. He's sucking on your finger. <laughs> yeah, he's sucking on Okay, hold finger. on. I know. Evan, let me get it on camera. Let me get Dad, the release. Look. There's just a little gut line. Little gut line? Yep. That's he was he was hooked in the lip, but he was bleeding a little bit. Alright, let me get a good view on it, Evan. Okay, go for it. Okay. Alright, the release. The river monster, that's what we came for. And off it goes. Nice and fresh. Woo! Heck yeah. Oh, the biggest carp I caught, but like, the big carp. Yeah, it was a big carp. What you think about that, Evan? It was hard. It was hard, huh? <laughs> yeah. Nice one, though. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We do giveaways on this channel. Uh, I will always give back to my subscribers and the community that supports me and supports my videos and my channel so um i'm gonna start giving away some baits too um i've got molds over here um okay yeah so this is a ghost shrimp mold right here that i designed i first made it from clay and here's another swim bait that i made also this one's a little bit smaller has a smaller profile smaller tail um so just a little bit different than the first swim bait i made i am going to be making another video on those molds and pouring the ghost shrimp mold and using it i'm actually fishing in a spotted bay bass tournament this weekend um it's gonna be january not january not yet december 14th so anyways that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the uploads. Thank you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And thanks for watching. Peace.